Hello and good morning to every listeners. Today we are going to learn about cells and organisms. So, first of all, what is cells? Cells are the basic building blocks of all living things. The human body is composed of trillions of cells. They provide structures for the body, take in nutrients from food, convert those nutrients into energy, and carry out specialized function. Cells also contains the body's hereditary material and can make copies of themselves. On the next slide contains parts of a cell. So firstly, we have the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus, also known as the Golgi complex, Golgi body or simply the Golgi, is an organelle found in most eukaryotic cells. Part of the endomembrane system in the cytoplasm, it packages proteins into membrane-bound vesicles inside the cell before the vesicles are sent to their destination. Next, we have cytoplasm. Within cells, the cytoplasm is made up of jelly-like fluid called the cytosol and other structures that surround the nucleus. Secretory vesicles. It is a vesicle that mediates the vesicular transfers of cargo, e.g. hormones or neurotransmitters, from an organelle to specific sites at the cell membrane where it docks and fuses to release its content. Lysosomes. Our membrane-bound organelles with rows in processes involved in degrading and recycling cellular waste, cellular signaling, and energy metabolism. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is a series of connected flattened sacs parts of a continuous membrane organelle within the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells that plays a central role in the synthesis of proteins. Peroxisome. Peroxisome membrane-bound organelle occurring in the cytoplasms of eukaryotic cells. It contains enzymes that oxidize certain molecules normally found in the cell, notably fatty acid and amino acid. This oxidation reaction reproduces hydrogen peroxide, which is the basis of the name peroxisome. Nucleus is a membrane-bound organelle that contains the cell's chromosomes. Pores in the nuclear membrane allow for the passage of molecules in and out of the nucleus. Centrioles are paired barrel shaped organelles located in the cytoplasm of an animal cells near the nuclear envelope. Mitochondrion is a double membrane bound organelle found in most eukaryotic organisms. Mitochondria generate most of the cell supply of adenosine triphosphate used as a source of chemical energy. Ribosomes It is a complex molecule made of ribosomal RNA molecules and proteins that form a factory for protein synthesis in cells. Organisms health An organism's environment refers to a complete range of conditions. In the ecosystem which affects its way of life, not only abiotic factors, but biological factors such as competition for food, space, and shelter. The specific place where an organism live is called its habitat. How does organisms reproduce? Organisms reproduce to continue the chain of life, to pass on its genes which are acquired over millennia. Reproduction is essentially a process by which individuals produce new individuals of the same kind. And this process is very important for the existence of life on Earth. Different organisms reproduce in different ways. Let us have a detailed look at how different organisms reproduce. A sexual reproduction is further divided into fission, budding, vegetative propagation, regeneration, and spore formation. Fission. 
This process takes place in unicellular organisms. It is of two types, binary fission and multiple fission. Binary fission The organisms reproduce by binary fission only when adequate amounts of food and moisture is available. In this, the mother cell divides into two daughter cells, each containing a nucleus. Amoeba divides by the binary fission. Multiple fission The unicellular organisms reproduce by multiple fission when the conditions are unfavorable with no proper amounts of food, moisture, and temperature. In this, the organisms form an assist around itself. The nucleus divides and each daughter nuclei is surrounded by a membrane. When the conditions are favorable again, the cysts dissolve and the daughter nuclei are released, which later develops into an individual cell. Plasmodium and antimoeba undergo this process. Body In this process, an outgrowth is produced from the cell from which a new organism is developed. The developed organism remains attached to its parents' organisms and detaches only when it matures. Leaving behind scar tissue, the process is prominent in yeast and hydra. Vegetative Propagation In this, a new plant grows from the fragments of the parent plant or a specialized reproductive structure. The offspring are the exact clones of the original plant and there is no mixing of DNA. The common forms of vegetative propagations are grafting, layering, cutting, tubing, tissue culture, and etc. Regeneration In organisms like Hydra and Planaria, we had observed that if they are cut into several pieces, each part grows into a new organism. This is known as regeneration. The specialized cells proliferate and produce a large number of cells. These proliferated cells undergo changes from different cell and tissues. The sequential process of these changes is known as development. Spore formation. During spore formation, the organisms from knob-like structures called sporangium, this happens during unfavorable conditions in an adequate supply of moisture and nutrients. When the conditions are favorable, they begin to grow. The sporangia contains spores that develop into new individuals. The spores are covered by thick walls that protect the spores until they come in contact with moisture and begin to grow. Sexual Reproduction is a natural way of reproduction and it takes place in all multicellular organisms. This process involves two individuals to produce offspring. In this, the male and female gametes fuse together and give rise to a new cell. Sexual Reproduction in Human The testes in males and ovaries in females are responsible for the production of sperm in males and eggs in females. The sperm fuses with an egg during fertilization, which results in formation of a zygote and gets implanted in the wall of the uterus. It further divides and forms into an embryo. The embryo starts developing week by week, seeking nutrition from the individual mother. With the help of the placenta, a new individual finally forms after a period of 9 months. Sexual Reproduction in Plants The angiosperms have both the male and the female reproductive organs. The pollen grains produce male gametes which fuse with the egg cell of the female. The formation of the gametes is known as gametogenesis. The pollen grains are transferred from the anther and to the stigma to the flower. These pollens travel through the style and reach the female gametes present in the ovule. The two gametes fused 
together in the process is known as parallelization. A zygote is formed which gets converted into an embryo. This gives rise to a new seed which gradually turns into a fruit. Sexual Reproduction of Animals The humans, fish, frogs, cats, and dogs all reproduce by the method of sexual reproduction. It is important to know the meaning of some important terms like male sex, female sex, gametes, sperms, ovae or eggs, fertilization, zygote, and embryo, which are involved in sexual reproduction. Music